Sayulita is a funky little surfer town and it's one of the most popular day trips from Puerto Vallarta. Now, we don't have a car when we're down here in Mexico, so we've hired a local tour guide to take us on this fun little day trip. Many people wonder if Sayulita is worth visiting for a day, and I'm pretty sure by the end of this video, I'll have you convinced. If you watched my previous video about visiting the natural hot springs near Puerto Vallarta, I didn't know how I was ever going to top such an amazing day. Well, today was that day, because this tour is run by the same guide, Antonio from Trailblazer Puerto Vallarta. So he booked one of his newest adventures, which takes you to Sayulita. But this isn't like the other Sayulita day trips that we googled. Depending on what part of the Puerto Vallarta area you're staying in, it's going to take you around 30 to 50 minutes to get there. This tour is for a small group only, so even if the drive is a bit longer, you won't be sandwiched into a bus with 20 or more people. So I hope you enjoy coming along with us. Let's get started. Our first stop is this really cool little roadside market. It's loaded with fresh fruits, candies, and all kinds of other goodies, most of which we got to sample. We tried jackfruit, which is nicknamed Seven Fruits because it seems to taste different to everyone. If you've never tried it, some people taste pineapple, others get peach, some get mango, some get banana, or a mix of all three. It was super interesting. We tried pineapple with tahine, all kinds of coconut candies. Everything was just so fresh and smelled amazing. I wish you guys could smell these bananas. Mm. Okay, one of the little treasures that I found is capomo. This is actually a nut from one of the native trees that grows here, and the locals actually use it to make their own version of coffee or tea without the caffeine. I'm really excited to try it. We didn't spend too much time at the market, just enough to stretch our legs, hit the bathrooms, sample some goodies, and shop for treats. Maybe about 20 minutes. Then it was time to hit the road, with the next stop being Sayulita. Welcome to Sayulita. After finding a parking spot downtown, we stopped for a nice cup of coffee, and then Antonio introduced us to the main areas of town. He showed us around downtown with all the boutique shops, some good restaurants, all the best photo spots, the market, and then the beach. And after getting the lay of the land, we had a couple hours to explore on our own. Walking around, you can expect trendy, artsy, hippie, and laid-back party vibes. And while it's definitely busy, it's still very chill around town. Sayulita is best known for its world-renowned surfing, and it's one of the reasons why the town became so popular in the first place. During your free time around town, you can shop, lay on the beach, or hang out at a beach bar, go surfing, or hit the market. This is a great hotel, by the way. We stayed here a few years ago and loved it. It's about $100 a night, and if you have an oceanfront room, you don't get a better view here in Sayulita unless you hit the rooftop bar here, which is also great. We were actually here on a Friday, which is when the farmer's market is on during high season. So if you're deciding which day to go, Friday is a good one to choose. But don't fill up on food because there's something good coming up. So here's a few clips of the sights and sounds of the market. Uh, no, just uh, Friday. Just... Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's real. We decided to make a quick stop at Don Pedro's Beach Bar for a cold beer, a michelada actually, and a perfect bird's eye view of the beach. After our free time in town, we hopped back in the vehicle with Antonio, who had some lovely treats waiting for us, and headed to our next spot. You might have heard that the main beach in Sayulita isn't very clean. And while they've done a lot to clean it up, it's still really busy. 
So we drove about 15 to 20 minutes to a secluded beach away from the crowds, past the cemetery and past Playa de los Muertos, which I have featured on this channel. Our adventure gets even better. After parking the car and a three minute easy hike, we arrived at a quiet beach that we only shared with a few local fishermen who were diving for oysters and octopus right in front of us. My breath was truly taken away with this massive beach, the soft sparkling black sand highlighted against the turquoise water, which was super clear and clean by the way. It was absolutely beautiful. All right, so we've had a great morning so far on this tour. And now Antonio, our tour guide, has brought us to this private beach where we're going to have a barbecue lunch right on the beach here. He set up an umbrella with some super comfy hammock chairs for us. We've got the ocean. We've got divers going for octopus and oysters right now. This is incredible, you guys. We got set up with chairs, towels, a table, and an umbrella, and Antonio set off to cook us lunch on the beach. He left us with a cooler full of drinks and time to explore, splash around in the water, and sunbathe. Not long after, we had our first delivery, a plate of fresh fruit, mangoes and watermelon. And a few minutes later, another appetizer arrived. The fish and the shrimp is on the grill. Wow. But in the meantime, a delicious bean taco. Bean Ooh, taco, let's yeah. go. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, you can put a little avocado there if yes, you like. Yes. And these were also the freshest, most perfectly ripe buttery avocados I've ever had. Now we're happy. See. <laughs> And then, drum roll please, the main course. This is a very famous local recipe, pescado zarandeado. Oh, that looks great. So this is the special zarandeado dish, a technique for preparing fish and shrimp smothered in local spices and chilies and grilling it over charcoal. This recipe originated in the state of Nayarit, and it's actually one of the signature dishes here in this region of Mexico. I like to do plenty of lime. Mm. A little oh, spice. it smells so good. Yeah. Perfect. Enough? Yes. I'll have more, but like, let's start with this. <laughs> you, know, you, ready. you want to try spicy? Yeah. <laughs> it's really See. spicy, okay? Yeah. Cool. We feasted beachside on this amazing meal full of flavor and so much food, just the cherry on top to the most perfect day. And we absolutely forgot to film more video because we ate everything so fast. And I just wanna say that we didn't get any special treatment or anything for putting this on YouTube. This is exactly the type of experience everyone gets when you book this tour. After lunch, we enjoyed a little dessert while Antonio packed up and then we hit the road back to the hotel. I seriously loved this experience and I think you will too. It costs just over $100 USD per person and it's a full day from around 8.30 a.m. to about 3.30, 4 o'clock. If you're interested in booking this tour, I put a link to it in the video description as well as the Hot Springs tour because that was awesome too. I hope you enjoyed the video and please be sure to check out my other videos about day trips from Puerto Vallarta and I have lots of info about Sayulita on my travel blog as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Like, uh, like mine. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's tasty. There's brown spots. <laughs> no, green bananas only. <laughs> More for me. Shout out to green banana lovers. <laughs>